Mother Teresa was an Albanian Indian Catholic nun and the founder of the Missionaries of Charity. The Catholic Church celebrates her feast day every September 5th, which is also the anniversary of her death. Born on 26 August 1910 into a Kosovar Albanian family, Teresa's given name was Njez Ganj. She was baptized in Skopje the day after her birth. She was the youngest child of Nikol and Dranophile Boyajiu. Njez was in her early years when she became fascinated by stories of the lives of missionaries and their service in Bengal. At age 12, she committed herself to a religious life. Njez left home in 1928 at age 18 to join the Sisters of Loreto at Loreto Abbey in Rathfarnham, Ireland. She arrived in India in 1929 and began her novitiate in Darjeeling, in the Lower Himalayas where she learned Bengali and taught at St. Teresa's School near her convent. She took her first religious vows on May 24, 1931. She chose to be named after Therese de Lisia, the patron saint of missionaries, however, because a nun in the convent had already chosen that name, she opted for its Spanish spelling of Teresa. Teresa took her solemn vows on May 14, 1937, while she was a teacher at the Loreto Convent School in Entoli, eastern Calcutta, taking the style of mother as part of Loreto's custom. She served there for nearly 20 years and was appointed its headmistress in 1944. The Bengal famine of 1943 brought misery and death to the city, which made Mother Teresa increasingly disturbed. On September 10, 1946, Mother Teresa experienced what she later described as, the call within the call, when she traveled by train to the Loreto convent in Darjeeling from Calcutta for her annual retreat. I was to leave the convent and help the poor while living among them. It was an order. To fail would have been to break the faith. She asked for and received permission to leave the school and began missionary work with the poor in 1948, replacing her traditional Loreto habit with a simple, white cotton sari with a blue border. On October 7, 1950, Mother Teresa received Vatican permission for the diocesan congregation, which would become the Missionaries of Charity. In her words, it would care for, the hungry, the naked, the homeless, the crippled, the blind, the lepers, all those people who feel unwanted, unloved, uncared for throughout society, people that have become a burden to the society and are shunned by everyone. In 1952, Mother Teresa opened her first hospice with help from Calcutta officials. She converted an abandoned Hindu temple into the Kalagat home for the dying, free for the poor, and renamed it Kalagat, the home of the pure heart, Nirmal Ride. A beautiful death, Mother Teresa said, is for people who lived like animals to die like angels, loved and wanted. She opened a hospice for those with leprosy, calling it Shanti Nagar, City of Peace. The Missionaries of Charity established leprosy outreach clinics throughout Calcutta, providing medication, dressings, and food. The Missionaries of Charity took in an increasing number of homeless children, in 1955, Mother Teresa opened Nirmala Shishu Bhavan, the children's home of the Immaculate Heart, as a haven for orphans and homeless youth. Mother Teresa expanded the congregation abroad, opening a house in Venezuela in 1965 with five sisters. Houses followed in Italy, Tanzania, and Austria in 1968, and, during the 1970s, the congregation opened houses and foundations in the United States and dozens of countries in Asia, Africa, and Europe. The Missionaries of Charity Brothers was founded in 1963, and a contemplative branch of the sisters followed in 1976. Responding to requests by many priests, in 1981, Mother Teresa founded the Corpus Christi Movement for Priests and with Joseph Langford founded the Missionaries of Charity Fathers in 1984 to combine the vocational aims of the Missionaries of Charity with the resources of the priesthood. By 1997, the 13-member Calcutta congregation had grown to more than 4,000 sisters who managed orphanages, AIDS hospices, and charity centers worldwide, caring for refugees, the blind, disabled, aged, alcoholics, the poor and homeless and victims of floods, epidemics, and famine. By 2007, the missionaries of charity numbered about 450 brothers and 5,000 sisters worldwide, operating 600 missions, schools, and shelters in 120 countries.
Mother Teresa had a heart attack in Rome in 1983 while she was visiting Pope John Paul II. Following a second attack in 1989, she received a pacemaker. In 1991, Mother Teresa offered to resign as head of the Missionaries of Charity but the congregation voted for her to stay, and she agreed to continue. In April 1996, Mother Teresa fell, breaking her collarbone, and four months later she had malaria and heart failure. On March 13, 1997, Mother Teresa resigned as head of the Missionaries of Charity. She died on September 5, 1997. Mother Teresa lay in repose in an open casket in St. Thomas, Calcutta, for a week before her funeral. She received a state funeral from the Indian government in gratitude for her service to the poor of all religions in the country. Mother Teresa once said, By blood, I am Albanian. By citizenship, an Indian. By faith, I am a Catholic nun. As to my calling, I belong to the world. As to my heart, I belong entirely to the heart of Jesus. After Mother Teresa's death in 1997, the Holy See began the process of beatification. Mother Teresa was beatified on 19 October 2003, and was known by Catholics as, Blessed. Pope Francis canonized her at a ceremony on September 4, 2016, in St. Peter's Square in Vatican City. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.